Hey there, everybody. All right, let's get this going. All right, so let's go around here. Something that you guys will notice about this game, it's pretty quick. Yeah, there you go. Spooky whispers, all sorts of them. Portraits of the ancestral Ravis line, the foyer walls, their faces reveal a dark, brooding edge. There is something about each one that gives the viewer an unsettling feeling. So there you go, more, more, more creepy whispers. I don't get it. Well, I, I do get it. I mean, it's supposed to set you off, right? So I have played, you could probably tell by that combat sequence, I have played this somewhat recently. I was just testing to see if it recorded okay. I didn't get terribly far, though. A wooden plaque is fastened to the door, taking the place of the lock. A colorful sigil is carved into the wood above a wide slot. The slot is just wide enough to insert a narrow blade. Alright, so clearly I need a sword. Or a knife. Probably a sword. I like swords. Alright. We got in here. That reminds me of Mario 64. A grand piano stands here, awaiting the hands of a decent musician. Unfortunately, Edward never really lived up to that description, and as such, the piano fell into disuse. Anyone else get, like, super jumped when that uh, piano attacks you in Mario 64? I don't think it was just me. What was that? Oh, hold on. Nothing? Alright. But, uh... What we got here? The illustration features a collection of strange line designs related to each other in a cyclical manner. There appears to be some significance to it, but it isn't particularly evident. I'm playing this game in the dark, like <laughs> in like this super exposed room in a, in a house all by myself. I wouldn't care normally. I mean, you guys know I'm kind of a big wuss when it comes to these games, but like this is a bit dated, obviously. Uh, it's probably gonna tell me I can't leave. But, um, the call of the mansion beckons to Alex, drawing her back to uncover the family secrets it hides. Alex will not leave until she has learned what happened to her grandfather. So I can't leave. But, uh, as I was saying, when you're in a place playing a game like this, even if it's not scary during the day, during the night, sometimes it's a little unnerving. I think we can all relate to that. A beautiful carriage clock. The hands appear to be stuck, yet the clock continues to tick with the time permanently set to 3.33. It's the same time as her alarm clock when she woke up. There is a key in the back of the clock, presumably for winding it. Should you take a look at the key? Yes. Picks the key, picks up the desktop, pulls out the key from it. However, there is something odd about the key. It isn't for winding it at all. It looks like a dresser key. A dresser key. All right, so this is pretty much as far as I got last time. I actually am still not sure where the dresser is. Alright, this just says the same thing it did earlier. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's just gonna talk about portraits again. I'm gonna check in here. I don't think I've been in here. Okay, telescopes. Alright, nothing here. Well, come on now. Oh, hello. Some form oculus um so there's these three dials here what's this yeah it runs here and then there's one over here a brass framed mirror is set into the wall the mirror's direction can be adjusted by means of two crankshafts set below it a curious device is it related to the telescope in some way heck yeah i'm gonna adjust the mirror okay so I don't see the mirror moving any, but I'm going to put it like this. Okay, I'm gonna put this one like that. I'm gonna have to come back here. I really don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, there's a third. There's another one. Hold on, this one right here. And then this one down here, what is this all about? A globe cradled in a wooden frame. Its glossy surface is painted in the likeness of an ancient map. A lens is situated in the northern hemisphere above a label that reads, There be dragons here. 
I've always liked those little things. Obviously an antique, the telescope stands testament to Edward's eclectic taste. Its lensed eye stares emptily at the ceiling as if awaiting future use. So, you uh, you kind of, I, I kind of almost brought this up in the, in the, I think the last episode, but uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the introduction to this feels a lot like the Da Vinci Code. I don't know if you've read the book or I don't know, maybe, maybe seen the movie, but uh, you like, you know, find in this kind of fancy place, you find uh, your grandfather brutally murdered and there's like, you gotta look for clues nearby and, you know, conspiracies, mystery, it's kind of got that feel to it. In the warm glow of candlelight, the Revis family tree hangs from the wall. The shadows flitter across its surface, obscuring the detail. And if one looks closely, the family secrets are revealed. And if one looks closely, someone's freaking hanging from the family tree! That reminds me of a joke that's not appropriate. Jeez. Alright, what do we got here? What's over here? No. Oh, crap, I didn't even know it went back here. The books in this corner seem to focus on the supernatural. The writings of Poe, Lovecraft, the poetry of Blake, the art of Bosch. Everything with a tie to ethereal horror or fantasy. It is all here. A reference library to the arcane. Was this Alex's grandfather's secret hobby? Was it also his secret lobby for said hobbies? Nothing there. Hmm. Okay, I'll check up here. Oh my lens, look at her hair. Okay. Alright, what's up here? Okay, here, check this out. It's gotta be 333. This looming grandfather clock seems to stand ominously in the corner, gazing on this simple excuse me, this empty room with an almost patriarchal air. Use the sticks here to adjust the clock hands. Should Alex adjust the clocks? Yes. Oh, that's weird. I have it set up wrong, I think. Oh, well. Three. Uh, I'm... Oh, yeah, 33 right here. Right. Right? That's how you... I'm not stupid, am I? That's 333. Yeah, one, two, three, that's three o'clock, and then 30 is six, and then 33. Don't judge me, okay? I'm trying. All right, all right. I guess maybe I gotta do something else. It seems like that should be it, though. Maybe I gotta adjust more than just that clock. What's out here? Nothing. Nothing. Whatever. We already looked in here. Okay, I thought the music stopped. I'm like, uh, <laughs> why? What did, what did I do? We're checking here. We haven't been in here yet. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to go in there anyway. What's weird about this game is sprint is the left trigger. Kind of odd. Uh, I don't know. It works just fine. Oh shit, I get tired. That's good to know. So if I so I'll eventually I'll have to run for monsters and stuff apparently. Okay, well hold on. Is that nope, it's not. Alright. Aha! Wait. We we were just in here. There's nothing in here. Well this had something on it. Yeah, but... Okay. Well, shit, I'm already stuck. That clock was the only thing... Well, that's not true. I guess I could interact with the, the stuff in the telescope room. I don't remember exactly where that was. And this is a room that has like the, the sword door. Okay. Okay. And there's nothing up here. Yeah. 
Well, shit. Now, this wasn't the telescope room, was it? Yes, it was. Okay, there's something in here I'm missing. Uh, what's this? Nothing? Okay. Alright. Well, shit. Well, I guess we'll have to figure out what the crap we're doing in the next episode. Alright, well, I guess I'll see you guys later. See you in the next episode. Oh, fuck. What are you looking at? Oh, her head snaps to interesting objects. That's actually really useful. Uh, alright.